Some say a very odd and disturbing phantom haunts a stretch of road leading to Cannon Beach. The phantom is a man covered head to toe in smelly, bloody, rotting bandages. It is thought that he is a logger who died from injuries sometime after suffering a horrific accident. The reason he haunts just this part of road is unknown, other than that he died somewhere near it. He does far more than just walk the road scaring motorists driving by. He also hops into cars or tries to. He will even jump onto a hood and or break windows to try to gain access. For those who willingly allow him inside their cars, soon discover that he disappears just before they reach town. For some reason, he is especially attracted to certain vehicles like pickup trucks, convertibles, sedans, station wagons, and sports cars. The bandaged man also liked to terrorize teenagers who used to use a part of his road as a lover's lane. So if you're driving to Cannon Beach and start to smell rotting flesh, be on the lookout because the bandaged man is probably looking for a ride. Starting in the 1920s at Hayden Island, there was an amusement park called Jansen Beach Amusement Park. It was quite a popular place for tourists and locals alike until its closure in the 1970s due to several fires and deaths. It was then sold and turned into a mall. Everything of the amusement park was gotten rid of except for a carousel. In 2012, the mall was set to be restored, so the carousel was put in storage for safekeeping. Restoration was finished in 2015 and the owners wanted to reinstall the carousel to its original place, but when they went into the storage, they found that the carousel had vanished. It was a mystery. Some believed that the carousel had been sold, others believed it had been destroyed, but some people believed the carousel's disappearance was due to the ghosts that haunt the Jansen Beach area. This mystery has been solved. It was found that the owners didn't want the carousel reinstalled, and starting in 2012, an organization called Restore Oregon tried to convince the owners to donate the carousel. They finally convinced the owners in 2017, and as of fall of that year, Restore Oregon is looking to find a Portland owner willing to display the carousel. In Ontario, there is a 2,661-foot inactive volcano named Misery Hill. It also goes by another name, but I will not say it here because me and the French language do not get along, so to speak. Way back, Native Americans used it as a lookout point. Then, many settlers traveled the trail near the volcano and more than a few died there. Many believe that their spirits still haunt Misery Hill. After the area itself had some settlers of its own, rumors abounded that Misery Hill had become a place where witches met. They gathered there to supposedly perform dark rituals and ceremonies. Today, people say that strange, impolite creatures chase away anyone who dares to come to the volcano. Another strange creature has been seen at Misery Hill. This creature is described as looking like a black dog, except it has long, gangly limbs, an abnormally large head, and most disturbing of all, it has no eyes. Most of Misery Hill is privately owned, so you cannot visit. But if you could visit, even with all the ghosts and the hostile creatures, would you? Let me know down below in the comments. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And if you already have, thank you very much.